Hi, this is Bob, the old ham, and uh, got a rainy day today here in Michigan. I got something interesting I've been doing here. Uh, these uh, bulbs that you get, these LED bulbs. I got uh, two bad ones here, and they just went out. So they, they, the LED bulbs should last for 20 years, but... Uh, Sometimes the connections inside go out or the resistor that uh, that they have in there uh, for the LEDs. I'm trying to get that so you can read it. Uh, but anyhow, this bulb here, it says uh, Lighting Science on it. And I bought these. These are real cheap ones. I got them at one of the big box stores. But that's uh, what, what I'm talking about here is I took the bulb and I put it in the vise here like that and squeezed it and it popped off the base right here. And here's what was in there, this piece right there. And what I wanted to show you was that, uh, that you can cut those individual little bulbs out or LEDs out and use them. Now if you're going to do this I I want to tell you that I have a uh, respirator mask on and I also have eye protection. I've got good eye protection glasses on. And what I've been doing is I've been cutting these with the this is a, a Black & Decker mini grinder I cut two slots, one here, one here, and one there. And if you can see, I also have scraped the paint off on each side of that one little LED. Now these are, as far as I can tell, these are a commercial grade LED they use in there. They're extremely bright, and I really like them. And taking them out of the bulb, for me, to take them out of a bulb like this and use them is, you know, you get them free that way. So I made a cut this way, this way, and then one horizontal there that you can see. And I've got this in the vise. Hopefully it won't pop out. It's done that before. But now I just bend it like that. And there's my individual LED. Now what needs to be done is to solder a couple little pieces of wire onto it. This camera is not in very good focus at that range. Solder a couple little pieces of wire onto those two little pads that I exposed. And I've got an LED. You wouldn't believe how bright these things are. I put a 1000 ohm resistor in series with it. And that gives it a current of about 10 to 12 mils and uh, 10 to 12 milliamperes current and boy oh boy are they bright they make a very very nice dial light bulb for your radio much brighter than the regular LEDs now I've got a rig I was working on here this is a uh, Heathkit HW104 and I've replaced the regular light bulbs right here and right here with these LEDs. I used uh, number 22 I couldn't see my finger there in the camera. I, re I used number 22 hookup wire. There's a 1000 ohm resistor in that little bump right there in the heat shrink connected right to the 12 volt line there for the lights. And I'm going to turn it on here. The brilliance is amazing. You notice I got that quite a distance back from the dial there on that meter. It looks kind of funny in the camera. It looks very, very nice actually when I'm looking at it here. But in the camera, it's got a hot spot in the center and all. That doesn't show up to my eye it shows up in the camera only. 
there's another one I put right in there to replace those regular small light bulbs anyhow it worked out so nice that I thought I'd show you guys what I was doing here there's how many on there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there's twelve of them were on there <laughs> so I got quite a supply of them here I think I'll just put this thing in the parts drawer and I'll just cut out a bulb or an LED excuse me cut out an LED when I need it but I thought was so interesting and you know instead of just throwing these things away you can get a nice LED out of there that is much much better than the regular ones that you find the regular little plastic ones that you find so that's it guys be sure and wear a respirator mask so you don't breathe in that dust and be sure and wear glasses safety glasses when you're doing that because you don't want to get a piece of that stuff in your eye 73's and good DX